So Bitcoin is at $71,700. No hesitation, clean all time high break, Larsen line is gold and happy life. There will be no shortage of moon boys today. I can guarantee you that. And while I am happy, I am excited. I'm so excited. My hands are almost shaking and I'm so happy I could bring you this ride. But I think that's not why you are here. Most of you say that you appreciate this channel for my level headed perspective. So let me share something from a previous Friday TA report that I sent out to members. And for perspective, this was 10 days ago and price was 62,000 before we had broken all time high and before we had even even crossed this resistance. That resistance level drawn here is this thick line. And if you're a fan of the channel, you might remember that I had something I called scenario one leading up to the ETF approval, which was that we will pump at the ETF approval, then a disappointed feeling might set in when not that much inflow happens and that we might retrace. And I said we might retrace to 40k or possibly even 30k. We did retrace to 40k, then we turned, we got universal and shoulders. And in scenario one, I said then that then I think the inflows will start coming, which is what we're seeing now. So that time the scenario played out, but it will not always be that. And I'm saying that before I'm showing the next scenario. And I wrote that here also. This is a scenario, not a prediction. Larson line is a reactive process. But scenarios are still useful because they serve to mentally ready us for what might happen. So we are ready to take the right action if that scenario does play out. So for example, this time, maybe you got new entries at 40k with Larsen Line Gold. And in this edition, I painted something that I called Scenario 2024 MP1. MP standing for Max Pain. What would the Max Pain scenario be? And why is that relevant? Well, if the larger players can get the whole market on one side, then there's an opportunity to exploit that. Exploit the longs, exploit the shorts, liquidate everyone and come out on top for someone that has enough funds to actually move the market. That's why Max Payne is a relevant concept in trading. So the MP1 scenario, as I painted it here, remember starting at 62k, we continue up with almost zero retests and retracements. Root Ruthless on everyone's sideline. Clean all time high break. And so far, this has been ruthless. There was a brief retracement here, but it was very difficult to catch. So ruthless, ruthless pumps every single day almost. Clean all time high break. We've gotten that. Mother of all FOMO sets in. And I wrote that price moves to the top of the channel, which depends a little bit on when it comes there, but say 86, 86. 87, maybe up towards 90. Every newspaper is then writing about the halving and the all time high. And what will all the retail do then who missed this entire move? Because they listened to all the mainstream people who said that Bitcoin is a scam and that global money on the internet has no point. They're gonna open new leverage longs because the people who missed it will feel that they need to catch up. And how will they try to catch up? They will use leverage. So we go up here, front run this little bit, and then mega dump happens to unimaginable levels. Unimaginable. Liquidating everyone. Panic selling starts. Price dumps even more. So how much unimaginable dumping can happen from here? If you watched the videos last week, I said that 20% has been pretty typical during previous bull markets, which would basically only take price back to about where we are now. But previously there have been 30% retracements, taking price to 60k. And who knows if panic selling gets really bad, perhaps the support could be briefly breached, I don't know. But if something like this happens, this would be an easy entry. When everyone are panic selling, price is dumping and Bitcoin is clearly a scam and going to zero. That's when team CTO picks up new entries, which if we're extremely lucky could be here, could also be here at the support. Then the halving comes, the post halving rally starts with price starting moving up from here or here. 
towards new unimaginable heights. And if you watched previous videos, I made some scenarios about that as well. So this is a new scenario, 2024 MP1, Max Payne 1. It is a scenario, not a prediction, it's to ready us mentally, so we're ready to take action if it plays out. Until then, we react to what actually happens in the market. You can tell that people are excited when TradingView keeps spinning and can't calculate the indicators. Amazing! I'm getting warm by all the excitement. Barely time to sleep. Now I want to talk about altcoins. I did feel that the AI narrative might catch on. And if we're looking at one of the AI portfolios, almost all of them are in uptrend against both the US dollar and BTC. This is the Large Online Pro dashboard. A feedback has been that you guys want to hear more about different altcoin projects. So I will listen on that and try to deliver more altcoin videos here. And as you can tell from this MP1 scenario, I do think that there could come a point where the market is getting a little bit overheated here locally, retraces and then comes again. So I'm not going to be one of those moon boys like, ah, oh, this one going to pump this one going to pump, so on and so forth. Instead, I want to teach you here a methodology that you can use consistently to catch much of the upside while not riding it all the way down again, which I can guarantee you that 90-95% of people will do at the end of this cycle. So when I go back and study history, it isn't to brag. I joke a little bit like told you so and blah blah blah, but it's because I think it's fun. I'm making jokes. I like to joke around. But there is a serious element in it. By studying the history, the historical charts, you can learn from it. You can see how it's done. Then when going forward, you can apply the same ideas, the same methodology on new coins. So let's go back and look at this video. So what's your favorite metaverse tokens? My favorite, it's uh, Sandbox and uh, Render Token, yeah. Render Token, not Raiden. So render token, not Raiden. So when was this? This was on September 7, 2022. So again, I'm joking around here, but I wouldn't have left it in the video if I didn't think there was merit to it, if I didn't think there was some value to it for you. And if you're a fan of the channel, I said that later in some later video. So September 7, 2022. When was that? Price opened at 0 0.469 and closed that day at 0 0.5. And at that time, if we zoom in, Large Online was blue. So if you're a Large Online Pro user, you go in there and you add render to your watch list. Since it's blue, we don't buy then right away. Then it actually flipped gold. Somewhere here. Hooray! Render is a great project. It's going to the moon. It's at $1 almost. So perhaps you set an entry here, almost at the top, and then boo 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 boo, it dumped. And at that point, you don't know how deep this dump is going to go. Now it looks easy, and it was a big success, but perhaps it would have gone like this. You don't know that. So what do you do? Cry and hold all the way down? No, you use a stop loss. When entries don't work out, you have to cut them. How long you can hold it depends on you, depends on the project, depends on the volatility. Good rule of thumb is something like 20%, perhaps 30. But you don't hold it, minus 99%. Okay, so that entry failed. This system sucks. You lost 20%. So from $100, you now only have 80. Quite a bummer, isn't it? All right, you lick your wounds. Lotion line flips back to blue. This looks garbage. But then turns out the support actually held and it holds several times. But then as you are very skilled and proficient in your TA skills, you see that this starts looking like a head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So should you sell here then when the right shoulder has formed? No, because it hasn't confirmed yet. Confirmation of a head and shoulder is upon the breakdown of the neckline. Did it break down? No, it didn't. It never did. So at this point, you are very interested because two things here can trigger your interest. Either a breakdown, then you actually have a short opportunity because then the target is the same height as the head. So from here, from the neckline, you'd get the target of 0 0.1. 
if this product would have completely failed at that point. If you're a pro user, you now want to monitor for two things. You want to monitor for the gold flip of Larsen line and you want to monitor for horizontal boundary breaks. So you go in there and you set an alert at the clean neckline breakdown, perhaps here at 0.4 or something like that. But then you also know head and shoulders pattern can also break in the other direction. If the high of the right shoulder is breached, the head and shoulder patterns becomes invalidated and it's an even stronger bullish signal than the head and shoulder breakdown is a bearish signal if it happens, which it did not. So you're now also interested in this level. So you set another alert in pro here at 0.6. And of course the alert on the gold flip is always there. So what happened in reality? This level was breached. 0.6 was breached. The gold flip happened basically at the same time. And you could get an entry comfortably here at 0.6 something. And then what happened? Well up we went. And as it turns out we got pretty far here until you got another alert from pro that the trend has turned down. But now you're up 172% which is 2.7x. So you started with $100, you lost 20 because you had a stop hit. So you had $80 left. But then you got times 2.7x. So now your $100 are 216 and you have not taken any dumb risks. Because at that point you don't know if this product would have failed and gone to zero. Okay, then what happened? Well, it did retrace quite a bit, but then it turned around again. And while you probably entered then at a similar level where you exited, again, you protected your downside because you don't know it could have gone like this instead. Now it didn't, it turned up again. So let's check what happened then. You didn't have to sit and monitor this. You got an alert on pro of a gold flip somewhere here and you got another rise up until today's level of 571%, which is 6.7x times 6.7. So your 100 bucks is now 1447 bucks and you haven't, you haven't risked the downside. So this is not a mooning aping degen process. It's a process. It's a methodology that protects your downside. But then our crypto barber also said something else. Number one, Kronos, a sandbox, more river. Mm. Also this is my favorite. He also said Kronos, something that I've not been a huge fan of. So now let's apply the same process from September 7, 2022. September 7, 2022, that was here. And this one did back up quite a bit. And then we got a similar situation as before. If you're a pro user, alert here. Ah, Kronos is turning up. Perhaps there's new life. Perhaps this one is a great project that will make a lot of money. So perhaps you enter somewhere here after the next dump. Perhaps you entered here. But what happened? This one actually dumped. Depending on your stop loss strategy, you probably got stopped out here at minus 20%. Same as the render token case. Garbage project, garbage process, very, very bad. But then what happened? Price actually continued quite a bit further down, lower than where you got stopped out. So suddenly you start appreciating it. And again. This one could have gone to zero instead, but it didn't. It actually turned up. You got another alert, Larsen line flipped gold, trend is up, time to take action. So you probably got in somewhere here, price went up quite a bit, but again, the trend turned up. But this time you actually made 40%. So you're now in total profit. So you had 100, which became 80, then you made 40%, you're now at 112. And what happened then? You got another gold flip somewhere here, which pumped about 89%, so times 1.89. So your $100 are now worth $200 in this project that isn't really my favorite. And note here now that you actually made higher gains than if you would have hodled it from that date when the video was published. Because that gain is only 42%. And here's the big point of this. That's in the successful case. This project actually turned around. And you don't know that. This one could have continued down like this instead. And then the benefits of a defensive process would have been even clearer. As everyone 
who has been in this game for some time can testify. Let's take one more. He also mentioned Sandbox. September 7, 2022, price was here. Larson line was down, but it became a gold flip a little bit later. Same story here, because most of these altcoins were correlated. You might have entered here. It got stopped out. You were very disappointed. Garbage project. I will never use this Larson line again. So you sold at the loss here, maybe at zero. 0.6 dollars then what happened well price continued quite a bit further down and suddenly here at 0.28 dollars stop loss doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all and then you actually got another entry at lower prices at 0.4 dollars what happened then well price went up and it's still up and you're now up 100% on that project from that entry. While if you would have hodled from the time that video was published, September 7, 2022, you would actually have been in minus at minus 17%. The final project he mentioned was Moon River. Very similar story there. September 7 is here. Lodge line was blue. We set alerts. We got an alert which turned out fake. Fake flip entered probably here and you got stopped out there too. And then you would have felt even worse because it actually retraced a little bit before flipping blue again. But then from that blue flip it went down another minus 53%. And suddenly stop loss didn't feel so stupid anymore. You were happy, you were excited. So when you got another alert of a gold flip somewhere here, you're excited again, entering here perhaps. And what happens? This one goes up 277%, 3.7x. And you're happy again. So it worked out in all four cases, all the four projects that our friend mentioned here. Buy now or cry later. <laughs> I don't have much hair, but the little I have still needs cutting. So how long have you been into crypto? Oh, around uh, three, four years. If you want to do money, you must go in now. Buy now or cry later. So gentleman's barber, he wasn't just some random schmuck. He had studied for 3-4 years, he was paying attention in 2022 when almost everyone had logged out. No one was listening to YouTube, no one was paying attention. So as a reminder, September 2022, that was down here. At almost peak depression, it got a little bit worse later in 2022 before it turned up here. What I want to do from this point onwards is to take a fresh start together with you, start building new portfolios. Bitcoin is still the dominating coin in this industry. The uptrend here is indisputable. Even though Bitcoin dominance has dropped a little bit, this is a flag, this is a bullish pattern. It's broken out on the upside. I'd expect further continuation from here. But I'm convinced, I'm sure we will see these kind of old season moves again, where people take profits, money they have made in Bitcoin, coin, move them over to even more speculative, even more volatile altcoins. One thing that I've actually thought a lot about, which I wasn't sure about, is that there's one thing different in this cycle from previous cycles. In previous cycles, all the Bitcoin were in crypto. So it was very easy to sell BTC to an altcoin. You basically went to the exchange, you logged in, you had the BTC versus ETH pair or something like that, and you pressed the button and the BTC got sold over to ETH. This time around, a lot of the BTC money are in ETFs. You can't log into the ETF here and swap this over to Ethereum or Solana or Render token or any of your favorite meme coins. So I was thinking about that. Will that change things? And I don't know for sure, but I don't think so. It, yes, it becomes more cumbersome. You can't just transfer it over in one click. You would have to withdraw some profits from the ETFs. You would have to go through the trouble of sending that money into an exchange. Your bank might block the transaction because they suspected some fraud. You have to go through that and so on to get that money into the crypto ecosystem. But I still think people will go through the hassle. When it's about making 
making money. People are very motivated. They really take action. So it might change things a little bit, but I don't think it will radically change the conclusions. I still think that a lot of Bitcoin profits will at one point float over into less liquid altcoins, which will have even crazier rallies than we have seen so far in great many altcoins. We have caught many of them here on the channel. I'm being very happy to be able to give you that. Recap the sole entry from 20 doesn't seem so ridiculously late anymore, does it? Now that price is at $148. Very nice, very beautiful. Many of you on the channel here are fans of Rune. We caught that almost at the bottom. At this Adam and Eve or cap and handle breakout, we lost line gold at $1. Now it's at 9. Both so I think I shared somewhere down here. It's now at 0 0.0156. So that's about 4x. And of course, guys, if you buy it late here and then don't have any stop loss and hold it 80% down. Okay, yeah, that's not good. But you shouldn't do that in the first place. Try to pick entries at a logical point. When I shared this the first time, there was a well-defined rectangle pattern here, where you could have a very small distance to invalidation, meaning where you could cut the position with a very small loss in case it didn't work out. Exactly as I explained in the previous examples earlier in today's video. And you can see here, here was a head and shoulder pattern that actually confirmed on the downside that the target was reached here. These support levels were excellent entries. Here you had a shoulder which actually invalidated the right shoulder, bullish pattern, that target reached as well. So try to find logical entries like this. Now it looks like this support held again here. Excellent entry from a TA perspective. Then of course what I didn't know would happen here was that other people would watch the video that I made, took the idea from Bozo and copied it and created ERC 404 with the exact same idea that went to then hundreds of millions of market cap. But these guys continue building. Let's see where it goes. So from this point onwards I want to look forward. I want to have new great ideas from all of you here in our community and our discord our pro members let's find new gems get figure out the logical entries following our process and let's continue smashing it guys if you want to get on the course with Lars online with a one-time price which is only one time you don't pay it every year please don't get scammed i have only one website ctolarson.com thank you tak see you tomorrow CTO Larson out imagine bitcoin at over seventy-one thousand dollars. isn't it beautiful